Hey everybody, what we're going to work on today is a technique called dry brushing. And dry brushing is a, a technique that you can use in a lot of different aspects of refinishing. Essentially what it is, is it's taking a, a medium, a paint or a glaze or a stain, and applying it in a very dry fashion. So what we're going to do in this piece right here, we're going to do the front. I've already started the front of this desk. And we're doing some dry brushing using some gold paints. And we're going to create a dry brush gold accent on this desk. And the reason I'm doing it is the client ordered this desk from Century Furniture with the gold accents. But it was delivered without the gold accents because Century had then discontinued this finish that she wants. So, But she wants the factory finish. It's a picture, so she sent me a picture. And what we're doing is we're exactly recreating the finish. We called Century Furniture and they said the technique that they used was dry brushing on the gold. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go into this tutorial and I'm going to show you how we're going to dry brush this desk. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do some dry brushing on some accents on this desk. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So what I'm using is I'm using a product from a company called um, modern Masters. Now I'm not suggesting you use Modern Masters paints, okay? You can use anything that you want, any type of product you want. This just happens to be the finish that we're using on this desk because I do like these paints. I find them pretty useful in the shop. They have a lot of nice metallic colors. You, you will see them from time to time in our tutorials and it's not like they're an advertiser or we make any money off promoting them. I, it's not like that at all. It's just that I use their products so um, I want to show you on our tutorials, you know, exactly what it is that I'm doing. I'm going to use three different colors here to make up sort of the color that I want. Um, I'm going to use warm silver, I'm going to use pale gold, and I'm going to use silver. And what you'll do is, is I, I'll just, I, I'm just shaking it, okay? Um, and I'm shaking it, and the reason I'm doing that besides to mix the color is then to have a, some in the lid, okay? So we'll put these sort of to the side for the moment and we'll use the colors in the lids, all right? And I'm gonna use a small brush because what I'm doing here is I'm just doing some details, some accents. So I'm only gonna use just a little brush, um, doesn't have to be anything fancy, but I want a small brush so that I can use, do more, you know, delicate, smaller areas. If you're doing a large surface, um, you know, by all means, use a larger brush. So we're just using a small one because we're doing very small areas, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to dab it in the paint. And when you dab it in the paint, okay, and then, and then we're going to, I'm using cardboard, okay. And you'll see I want, what I want to do is I want to dry off my brush. And we can put some different colors down here. I'm not concerned about intermixing these, okay. And then we're going to basically, you're, you're drying your brush off by, by dabbing it onto the cardboard here. Dab it and dab it and dab it until it's, until it's you know, pretty dry. And, and this is what we're going to use now to do our detail. And this is what you'll do. So you'll keep going back to your paints and sort of loading it up a little bit with your color and then dabbing it and dabbing it and dabbing it until you sort of dry it off. And then you can go right back to here. Basically, you want a, a, a brush that has, has paint on it, but not wet. So that's how you do that. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my paint. And I'm going to just real softly like this okay now if you can see in the in the picture that I showed you about with that with the finish on from the factory what I'm doing right here is I'm I'm mimicking that finish okay it's not this is not necessarily what I always do with with gold as a matter of fact I'll go a step further than that and say I, I, I really never do it like this but this is the finish that the factory does, so this is what the client wants. And to be honest with you, I kind of like it. Maybe I like it because it's different than what I usually do. Okay, but it's sort of just brushed on real dryly. Okay, just like such. Okay, and very, very erratically and uneven. That's how the finish is that I need to, um, you know, to match from the factory. So a very brushed looking finish with a lot of wood showing through. You can use the tape here to sort of 
you know, test. It's always a good thing to do. You know, just uh, have a little test board so you can kind of wipe it on there. Um, right here, I'm able to use the tape. That lets you know exactly how much you have on the brush just so that, you know, you don't kind of mess up and put too much on because I can go over it multiple times and that's not a big deal, you know. I can just go over it. If, if I don't have enough paint, I can hit it again. Um, but if you put too much on, it, you know, it can create a problem. And it, well, I mean, it can mess you up depending on what, you know, your, your situation and what your mediums are. So I'd always err on the side of less is better. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use, I'm not going to always use all three finishes in the same combination. Sometimes I might go a little heavier on the silver, sometimes a little heavier on the gold. And that'll give me, uh, when, once, you're, once I'm done with the piece, I feel like that'll give me, there, there'll, be, there'll be more, some subtle differences that you might not see right now. But when it's all done and we stand back and step back and look at it, I think it will uh, create a little bit more variation in the color. Okay, so we have our finish and that's pretty much exactly what I'm seeing in the picture that I need. So I'm really happy with it. Now what I'm going to do is, since this is a brand new piece, I don't have to refinish the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little aerosol, just a little, um, you know, deft uh, satin, and just uh, seal this paint in. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go around. I have another uh, edge up here to do. So that's pretty much our technique. I'm going to go around the whole piece, um, look at the factory finish, and mimic exactly the same areas that it was done there. But yeah, you pick your spots, you pick your areas where you want your gold brushing, um, and you tape it and do section by section. And it's really that simple, and it's a really fun project to do. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.